There are several new meters in downtown Lynchburg, but these aren't to pay for parking. Yeah, 10 News reporter Magda Lusant shows us their unique purpose. These bright green old city parking meters have been refurbished and converted into piggy banks. Need people to clear off the change if they have in their dresser drawers and bring them down. Peggy Nolly is the brainchild behind the Change for Change caring meters in Lynchburg after seeing the idea in Canada. It seemed to me that it really wasn't very hard to do, um, that the steps would be rather simple and, you know, the process wouldn't be too difficult and the end result would be gigantic. A gigantic result, Nolly says, will help Lynchburg area families. The change dropped into nine similar meters across downtown and Boonesboro will go to local nonprofits, some who are already struggling financially because of the pandemic. And I know these agencies are stretched um, to, to the end point of their budget. So I think all the help they can get, even though it's not going to be huge dollars. Co-partner Libby Fitzgerald says major organizations in the Hill City will match whatever is collected. Then every quarter, two agencies will be chosen. Bill Bodine is helping with that process because he works closely with them. I'm imagining that when we get together and make some final decisions for the first couple of, 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 of monies that we give away, we'll be looking strongly at those sorts of things, you know, basic human needs. There's a lot of people that really feel like, you know, what can I do that I can't really make a difference? And this is a way that they can truly make a difference. In Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you. The group is hoping to give money to their first organization by December. And if you want to know where the meters are located, you can find out at WSLS.com.